Hello, 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 and welcome to the show, everybody, for what is a pretty exciting lineup of matches happening here. Two best of threes, Keith. Back-to-back, Counter-Strike action, jam-packed, momentum, speed, violence here as we go along for Namiga versus Apex to kick off the day, which I I have no idea how to feel about this, especially when I saw the veto, Keith. Mirage, Dust2, Nuke. Ooh. I just need a moment to process that, right? And I, I guess with kind of like the David and Goliath story that we kind of have here, Apex being David, Goliath being Namiga, it's hard to beat Namiga again. Same story as yesterday. Hard to beat LDLC and Map Vitos. Hard to beat Namiga and Map Vitos. Or sorry, it was hard to beat Pact and Map Vitos. Same thing goes for Namiga, right? For Mirage, sure. really good map for them. They first pick it. You can't you can't ban it for your Apex, right? You need you need to get out Vertigo. You don't want to play the big on Vertigo. It's about they've been playing a ton um and then what you you play dust too uh, like these guys play everything like it's absurd yeah think about it this uh, way uh, dust uh, two is probably an amiga's worst map and they still have it played a ton with decent yeah. win percentages on it but the pistol rod is already underway so we can just jump into the action as mirage has begun and Namiga, it is on the T side, setting up the pace here for us as Speed Axe picked up Rainbow Nades, Boxes picked up Smoke Double Flashes. They're aiming, they're, they have their crosshairs on that A site, looking for that execute, but there are three defenders here for Apex Heath. They are aware of this potential, and they're ready for it. They're ready, and uh, I literally just blink, and Dennis has two, Marcellius gets one. Uh, Roy, that's the Dennis effect on pistols, isn't it? I look away for a sec, I come back to reality, my, I, my mind is still trying to wake up and snap back in, and Dennis is already tapping people away. Kind of what he does, it's kind of just his thing. The XQ from Nimiga was what? Pretty simple, but Dennis kind of made that look way too easy. And Mar you gotta give a little credit to Marcellius, he was kind of back here popping True, some Marcellius did some work, true. Interestingly enough, these people, uh, these people, <laughs> these teams, have only <laughs> played each other once before, Keith. It was actually pretty recent, about two weeks ago. Maybe a week and a half ago, actually. And it was on Nuke, and Amiga won 16-7. to And that was, that was the only time in history that they've played together. At least on HL TV, yeah. Maybe they've run into each other before in some other league or some, uh, some other place that's not on HL TV. Now, Truth is looking for some space. Typically kind of risky on this kind of run, because you're exposing your moss. Maybe not much. Oh, everyone's getting... He got dinked for seven damage. <laughs> uh, it goes through, like, the corner of the bricks or something. Something stupid. Might be able to plan here, though. MDS is creeping. Is he going to be able to plan? No. Nah. No. Almost. I think he was a almost there. But, uh... Yeah, no plant Amiga will buy here. It'll be Opalus. It'll be AKs across the board. Sprinkling, sprinkling of utility, Roy. And I have a feeling we'll see something quick from Namiga. Doesn't strike me as they're going to default here. They're already setting up top mid smoke. And it's just going to be top mid control. The smoke actually gets blocked, but still pops in window. Dennis in mid is going to go down as aggression gets tossed to the wayside. And so does the underpass player. Trades are plenty all over the place. Marcellius is the next man up. And Box wants to fight. Marcellius gets caught out. Namiga win the trades. It's the, the mid crunch, the underpass and top mid fights. And just like that, it's truth and grass. That's all that remain, Roy. One thing I have learned about watching Namiga is I know that you would, you, would, you kind of want to beat them early, right? You kind of want that early aggression against them. You kind of want to establish your dominance, set up some boundaries, establish some respect. Amiga are always so ready for a brawl, and they seem to always win these scenarios somehow. Find ourselves in a similar situation with a man advantage, and you can tell that Amiga is just waiting. They know that Apex is blind, they know that Apex is desperate, and they're looking to capitalize off that by just holding, waiting, and if nothing happens, if no one is pushing, probably just group up and hit something together here. Hopefully it's not the B site if you're an Amiga, otherwise... You might run into a double man stack. And oh wait. They're going into the B hit. Wow. Apex rolled the dice. And uh well the Amiga rolled the dice and they rolled snake eyes. And right into the stack. They are able to flush out truth. 
Too many angles for him to deal with. Grus gets one back through the smoke and Box covers Box. with a few remaining bullets he has left. Three from Box. He really is one of those players when, again, he's kind of the guy in the Amiga that's always going to be consistently good, right? Maybe not always the flashiest, but he gets the kills he's supposed to. And I, I don't think I've ever seen Box just have a bad game. Yeah, Bo Box is pretty consistent. Box, Lollipop, Speedack. I, like, I feel like everyone on it, you guys, always popping off. Now, Truth is I looking mean, for that connector fight. It's so awkward when a player gets into that corner as a connector player, because like now you can't even clear him. You have to go so wide to see that angle. Default player has been spotted. Now they know where two of the defenders on A site are. Default, under, pa under Palace. And the other one is kind of connector rotating towards CT spawn. This is getting incredibly awkward. Look at the rotate skeet. Everyone is here almost, except one person Bruise. And somehow Ooh. they continue. They, they win fights even though they're going into stacks, Keith. How, how do they do this I, every I, single time? I, I have no words. I have no clue how they're able to still just walk out a ramp and get those fair fights. I, They turn, like positions and disadvantages somehow into their advantage i it makes no sense to me it blows my mind box is going to continue to push forward he'll get in towards jungle hold down murder hole and akes and grus just simply have to save at this point unless they get given a free kill right then they could go into a 2v2 maybe have some sort of chance some an opportunity to do something and just to talk to like the consistency of Namiga as a whole, right? I was just looking at HLTV for fun. It's hard enough to have everyone on your team above a 1.0 rating. Everyone's almost above a 1.10. There's two people who are not above a 1.10. It's a 1.8 and a 1.9. That's how that's like that's how nuts everyone on Namiga is. Like they all put up just a crazy rating. Listen, I'm not trying to stroke my own legs here. <laughs> okay, go on though. You will. But I'm pretty sure that I said that Amiga. Was, I was confident that Amiga was going to be one of the best teams across both divisions, North America and EU. Yeah, they, they are. They have a core, a four core that is that's been together for years, Keith. Years. They with the addition of Speedac, they've only gotten better, which is weird to say because you know Speedac is not somebody I expected would be on this roster initially. I was like, nah, there's no way. They're not even from the same country. Obviously, they speak a similar language, or probably even the same language, but probably different dialect in some senses. But I didn't think Speedak was going to be on this roster. And when he made an appearance, I was like, oh my god, this is this is such a sick pickup. I, I feel like I had the same feeling when I saw Dennis on the Apex lineup, right? It's like, this yes. is not somebody I thought would be on this lineup. Like, there's no way. I did not think I would see it. But he Kind of like so body on nicely. LDLC, maybe? Yes, exactly. These players make these rosters yeah. so much better. Because they round it out, especially Dennis. He brings in that experience that maybe Apex doesn't have. He brings in that extra little firepower that they need, mid-round decision. Same thing for Speedak, the X-Factor, right? But as I'm saying this, this round is unfolding what? terribly right now for Namiga. They get dismantled, and the stack wins for once for Apex. Now they have AKs. Now they have a Famas, Keith. And it's up to Yo. Gotta clutch this one out. Oh, he's gonna Oh my goodness, right when you say, yeah, Dennis brings like a different kind of X Factor, he brings some to single P250A, ramp gets kill, runs back connector, finds the connector player, back turn, or pushes through a ramp, finds the last player. Like, they just do things that are unoptimal, but because they they are who they are, right, they make it work. It's kind of like the body effect you get on LDLC, Dennis effect, it's just, it's crazy, It's 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 absurd to me. But if Dennis is feeling it, he he's he could be one of the best players in the server. So see if he's not gonna slot in and get real comfortable in the mega. They've emptied their pockets due to that loss, Roy. This buy is limping through this round. Not a lot of utility. Box and lollipop have already taken some damage early, making them one shotable by the M4s. I mean, there are a couple AKs as well in Apex, so. This round's gonna determine who's taking the economy advantage very early, though. This is kind of an early swing round. Smokes are still up right now, but soon those smokes will not be there, Keith. And 
MGS is the only smoke remaining. He's, to mind you, he's in window, so he has control of something out of these smokes that they've placed down. Marcellius goes a little bit too wide for his own good. MDS takes him down. Now they've wedged defense. 2-2. Two, two. Player from B has fallen to try to pick up the window flank and keep them contained. Two players on A ramp have just pushed out of Palace. Now they know that this is likely not ending A. But both teams are on the rotate to the B site, Keith. Yeah, look at Russ. seconds left. This is... Yeah, he's all the way up here, too. This is so, such a poor fight. Yeah, he's in, he's in a prime spot. I, I don't even know if they're going to clear him. They're going to try to. If he even just gets one, he can't. He'll go down. The B anchor needs to stay alive. Let rotates come in. But that's not able to happen. Yo, able to find Akez. And just like this, how do Namiga get entry in such a swift fashion? Dennis gets one. He's removed. Namiga keeps four alive on such a clutch and important round. I am shocked yeah. <laughs> that those players weren't able to get a single one. It's literally mind-blowing, dude. It's actually mind-blowing how this continues to happen. I feel like most teams are panicking at that point, right? Like 15 seconds, you're not even on the bomb site yep. yet. But they know exactly where to look. Impeccable. Now they're going for the A play again. It seems like they have not learned their lesson yet. Apex will have to attempt to punish them again. Triple men stacked in here. One towards spawn, one and triple, one towards ninja. MDS is going to overlook. That's a one and done. Dennis gets a second right there with the USB. Not again. And it gets mopped. No, it gets mopped this time. Marcelli is stopping away. The lollipop. Not quite the sucker he was looking for. <laughs> not quite. Some would say not quite the lollipop he wanted. Yeah. But yeah, they, they get the op out on speed act. It took a moment. It took a little bit. Namiga have recovered. The Oppo Marcellus will make an appearance. He's always deadly for the most part. When he elects to break it out. He seems very selective in his opping timings. Lollipop. They're trying to fight Marcellus. He gets caught. At least a trade comes in from Truth. But that's your Oppo down. And let's just look at the utility they have to use now to get some sort of normality back into this round. Two smokes remaining at a minute 25. Make it just one, Roy. That doesn't bode well. And considering the Migar still defaulting and able to single out your A player and the support in Dennis, these guys are deadly. And they are even going to find the B push. These guys are monsters. What do you do? Trying to do his best clutch impression right now, and oh. so far he's done a pretty good job turning into a pretty unfavorable situation into a manageable situation. Still a one versus two, but unfortunately, Box, he's ready. He's got the op, got the better skin. You gotta go for class as well. And then we go find themselves at five. Economy not looking so hot for Apex Keep. You can say it's at the valley. Are you a valley girl? My my man, Roy. Not gonna lie, I wish I was a valley girl. Just for the fact of how nice of a life they have. It seems very nice. And I get to talk like this, like all the time. So that could be a good time. What do you think, Roy? Yeah, sorry, I, I, was, <laughs> I was very close to banning somebody in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. The Deagles are going to do the work here for Apex, though. And how? how do they... That's twice. Okay. Take away two rounds from Apex. Namiga would, would be sitting so comfortably. Right? They haven't won a single rifle round of Apex. No. Both Ecos. Yeah, actually. Like, that's crazy. Two Ecos like, that and a pixel happen. conversion. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, obviously, that's objectively a bad thing if you're an amiga like you are dropping some easy rounds my friends but they're winning every gunfight <laughs> they're winning every gun round that's so weird what an unusual turn of events here and now it is once again amiga look going for these crazy splits like just such cohesion on these splits lollipop going for the long range fight not quite able to land the shots their early efforts have been taken away, and Truth finds perfect timing onto MBS. Now they've traded spots. Yep, established mid and connector control, but we've taken sight from you. 
And although it is a two versus four, if Apex continues to do these crazy plays that come through smokes unnecessarily, that situation could turn back into the advantage of Namiga quickly. But still right now, it's a man up for Apex. We're gonna go ahead and take jungle control. Good trade from Box. He has three kills. You'd have to ace for them to take this, Roy. Flash over the top as the bomb ticks away at default. Or sorry, triple. Snake has just jiggling, and he does out jiggle. Right shoulder peek into box. Doesn't even need to peek with his teammate. Defuse will come in. Apex win uh, some, sorm, some form of rifle. And there you go. They get the op back. Everything's fine. They can get Taos back over to Marcellius. Gotta admit, Dennis is having one hell of a game towards this A site. 12 and 7 at the moment. 13 and 5 from box. Kind of a race. This is a speed run, any percent. First to get 180 art at the end. And it seems like Apex have kind of normalized this this half. As Box is going to go and go for the hero AK. So Namiga taking risks. But uh, from not winning any rifles. Just only two force buys. To now setting themselves up comfortably. What is Speed? Speed Axe a menace. I can't believe he just got away with that. It's still in CT spawn. That was just crazy. Imagine if he had a gun. Laser seed. Yeah, if he had any so form of, of firepower, he could have been a big troublemaker. As Box is the last man standing, any damage here is good damage. That's two. He knows Dennis is under pa under uh, balcony. He's going to slowly work. Can he clear him out here? Dennis is weak on top of it all. And he's not going to get traded. Box in a 1v2. Has time. Yeah, where is Dennis' support? And he gets out. I, I It took so long for Gruss to get there. I mean, there's only one player in the server. Like, why aren't they all just full sprint? Kind of unusual. But Box is looking for the 1 versus 5 clutch right now, Keith. And he's all his way to the B site. By the time Apex even realized what's happening here, yeah, Box has slowed down. So now they might have a chance to think about it. As of right now, he has an open B site. He can plant this bomb. He could reposition. He could reset the scenario. And he, he might find this round with a hero AK. There it is. The bomb is now being planted for Cat. If he gets on Cat, there are, there's no smoke defuse potential. The only thing that a a Apex has is the Molotov on Akez. Oh, he goes into upper tunnels. That that might be difficult with the Molotov if they figure it out quickly. How do they single out? What, like, don't give him 1v1s, right? They don't have a smoke for the bomb. The Molly goes towards the bench. He's gonna peek. Oh, Box one. Good a... trade from Gruss. I think he barely saw the top of his head. And I mean barely. What wow. a crucial shot by Cruz right there. Literally, a, even a, a split second of missed shots right there. He gets away. Box gets away. By the way, Box is 17 and 6. In a, in a 6 5 game. Everyone else is 7 and 8 and 9. That's outrageous. Anyways, back on the gun round. Box has done a good, pretty good job getting kills, planting the bomb, boost, bolstering the economy of Namiga. And now they're going for the mid fight. Truth gets one. Marsalius with a smoke kill protects his teammate Truth inside of the connector. Now they have a double man advantage. And Lollipop is at least able to find a trade for now. Marsalius shooting at feet, but not quite able to land it. Yes. Did he flash himself? I think so. <laughs> he was very much blind. No, like, and that let you know, just get up connector and find the opening pick. Look at him go. He has all of a sight. He's forced these players bottom connector and into jungle. Akez takes a single fight. Yo will say thank you. All the while, Speed Axe going with the bomb to B. <laughs> they got played. They got served a dish. That was not what they ordered, Roy. They ordered fish. And they got a vegan hamburger. Definitely, definitely not what they wanted. I mean, I, I take a vegan hamburger. That sounds amazing. Never had one, but I hear they're not bad, actually. In the meantime, it is down to a 1v1, Keith. Bruce versus Speedak. Speedak is going to pretty much just hold his flank for now. Until he realizes Bruce is not there at that point. He'll start to peer over. He'll stop looking for it. There it is. Now there's some audio cues. He knows the player's not coming flank. He's just not quite sure if Bruce is out or not.
Well, Gruz is out. Has a smoke for the bomb. Molly for Van. Looking for the fight. Bait out, Speed Act. He almost taps him through the wall. He's gonna get on it. This should be impossible for Speed Act to get him, though. But he, he knows the lineup with an op through smoke, Roy. Okay, listen. How are players with ops so talented at finding people through the smoke on bomb? I look like an absolute idiot anytime I try it. But I guess this is that's the difference. These guys are pros. I'm a I'm a Joe. True. You're a good looking Joe though. Thank you, sir. I shaved the other day. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Okay. Oh, Wow, that's not what you're looking for. A collateral with a deagle. Lollipop comes out, gun swinging. Box is here on the pincer. Dennis is running out of places to sit in and hide. And somehow we find ourselves at a 2v2. And Box is. Oh, are they seeing each other? Not quite. Oh, no, they're not seeing each other. Oh, now they are. How do these spies <laughs> keep doing it? Are they going to drop right? three? Like, uh, that would be crazy. They lose three. Eco rounds. Yeah, they are. Look at ACAS. He just snuck out. Phoenix has no clue. That that is three pistol slash light by rounds, Roy. That have been converted. Blows my mind. Namika have a problem. <laughs> their their aggressive style has just kind of been playing against them. Apex been setting up nicely in tradable positions with their lower lower weapons. And they're just able to trade, Roy. They're doing kind of, they're kind of doing work. What's, what I, what I'm currently processing is Apex has won three Eco Force buys, two rounds as a result of the pistol. That's already five. That means they've won two gun rounds out of. Six out of eight. Yeah, that's that's not a good sign. But I mean, hey, if you're, if you're if you're gonna keep winning the ecos, then I can't can't really criticize you that much because you're doing something right. Now they're gonna go for the fast B play. I think they're trying to bait out the early utility. There it is. That's the Molotov out of the hands. Actually, they're not baiting the They're just going off straight off that. Bruce is so bloody. He has nowhere to go. Even Box is blind. Akez finds two in the meantime. He's still on site though, and he gets traded out immediately. A two for two trade. That's guns. That's the bomb site. Not a bad deal. Speedak eliminates Marcellus through a little cheeky one way upper in the holes. And now it's down to the two versus two. They know that Dennis is here. MVS is looking to take the fight straight to him. Knocked out. Wow, he just pushed forward, grabbed the M4, and kept moving towards him. Speedak, he grabs an AK and will find that player on pillar. Well done from Namiga. A quick pace round. Also, 20 kills for box. No one else is in double digits. <laughs> he's having a game. He is having a T side. I think he's also the IGL, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. 121 ADR, 2.2 KD. Yeah. And calling. He is. Although, to be fair, he's and called a lot. He's, he's, maybe he's focusing too much on fragging right now. That's true. They're kind of just defaulting and running into sites. They've lost uh, three coats, so, you know, let's not <laughs> let's not give too much credit. But uh, <laughs> he, he is still doing work. That's true. That's true. This one is, is kind of like they can't lose a fourth, right? Like, it shouldn't and can't happen. But, uh, we've, we've seen it so much. Yeah, they're, it's starting for us. Gets the AK. The bomb's still gonna head towards B. Can MDS cut one of these rotators? Yeah, he finds truth. Dennis now in a weird spot. Bomb will go down. They know exactly where Gruss got that AK. Should not allow him back in because the crust is coming all the way through underpass to come towards the hat. And uh, this is gonna be a long run for Dennis and Gruss. And they're gonna have an op of speed act posted on them. Plus utility thrown their way. So I don't like their odds. Lollipop doesn't either. They're going to try to shut it down, and they will. So, Namiga get eight, but if you subtract three from Apex's scoreline, that leaves them with four, Roy. Yeah, I don't even think it works like that either, because you have to consider the, the consequences of losing an eco, too. It's not just rounds that you're losing. It's like a ton of economy that you might have had. So, realistically speaking, you secure those ecos. We're looking at 11-4, 12-3 at, at best for, Namiga, yeah. for uh, Apex or Namiga. You know what I mean. But I do. Eight to yes. seven. 
I feel like although Namiga just played that extremely sloppily, they just played their harder half. I feel like things are about to get easier from here, and Apex are gonna are gonna need to come out with some insane strat and insane cohesion to really topple what is Namiga's defenses here. Box is good for two. Marcellus with the trade. MDS, yo, they each find one. The one-two punch on the B site. Now it's Marcellus all the way in spawn. This is so awkward. How does he even plant a bomb in this scenario when he's pinched it on in and Lollipop is there? Hello. Welcome to the candy shop, my friend. Nine to seven. Now, without a bomb plan, Keith, there's no money. Mm. No bag to secure for Apex. Lollipop. They're not slowing down. They're looking for the speed run here, Keith, on this round. Yeah, looking to try to plant the bomb. Not sure that's a reality or a possibility. Namiga certainly have mid unlock. Marcellius is walking into uh, a bit of trouble. And the lockdown is going to try to commence here with, from Lollipop. Able to get one. Box will help out. Making that money to the USP. Tapping away. Ooh, a little shaky from Lollipop, but. Yo has got it under control. Double digits now for Namiga. They jump to 10. The buy will come in from Apex. Again, Opolis, as most third round buys are for the T side. And uh, look for aggression from Namiga here. Maybe a palace push, a B halls, an underpass. Something with these MP9s to kind of put a little wrench in the works from Apex. And it's a, actually a top mid push. So with either way, rifles. I'm cool with it. Yeah. This is actually kind of smart, isn't it? Send your long-range weapons out mid. Probably have your best chances. If Apex is trying to react quickly off that, they're going to go into either upper B or out A. That's where they're going to walk into the MP9s. Usually, you'll see teams using the MP9s as the kind of push underpass, go somewhere crazy with them. No. Not an not Amiga. And I kind of I kind of like that. But as of right now, it's a pretty slow round. Apex doing a lot of noise early on here. Trying to keep speed at bay. Dennis gets spotted towards a ramp, although he does a ton of damage to speed act, which will limit his potential to take risks. Apex are now starting to look for the ace play key. Three men are coming down top mid right here. They're walking, not throwing flashes, not giving any audibles or cues that they're out here. And this might catch an Amiga off guard. Okay, they've just been spotted. Apex trying to entry in. How is Box allowed to just stand in the open and spray three players down? Truth's last man standing. The MP9 sneaking him through the woods below. MDS will just peek and end it. Box with three kills right there. In the open, essentially. Goes untraded. He's at 26 and 12, by the way. He finally has teammates hitting double digits, but he's been unreal hasn't he throughout this entire match that'll continue here and uh i'd say this is a good time for apex to try to get another one of those eco victories another one of those highway robberies in theory it should be a bit more difficult on the t side and uh we'll see if that's going to be the case because now they're getting mollied out they're getting iced out they're getting locked out the mollies are holding angles the ops holding angles the rifles are peaking yeah so nothing yet Unless Akes and Dennis have some insane eagle shots up their sleeves, right? With which, by the way, I'm always for. I do love a good one D. Keith, can we get you to do some research for us here while we're this is kind of a downtime? Of course, of course. I'm, I'm looking for the T sidedness of this map. Is, is there a way to filter with like top 50 teams or like top between um, let me rank 50 and 100 somehow, out. or like rank 30 to 100 somehow? Uh, I'm curious if that's an option. I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious to know what this map leads. Because a part of me thinks that this map isn't CT-sided. I think it is slightly T-sided as well. I, I, I think so. Let me but odd, oddly enough, like every time we've done research, every time we've looked it up for the stats, which is actually perfect timing because there's a timeout. This is Yeah, map, a Mar time. by the way, Mirage has been played 16,000 times, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Um, so I can filter it by... Big events. Oh, yeah, I can do top 50. 
Okay, let, let, let's try top 50. I was hoping to do I like a perimeter 50, where we ignore 30. the top 30. And then we go from like yeah. 30 to 100, but I don't think that's possible, right? Yeah, so top 30 or top 50 is like the most. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's see top 50 here. All right, so and you want, it is 52% CT round win and 47.8 T round win. Really? So it's CT sided by actually a decent margin. Can we filter by online matches as well? Actually, I guess everything is online now, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. But either wow. way, look at Speedak right now. He is shotgun style. Oh my goodness. In a, such a claustrophobic position. Marcellius almost gets his head ripped off as well. And Speedak gets away with murder. Two kills. Escapes. Unscathed. No damage done to Namiga. And it... Vahe for Namiga is looking terrifying. Three AKs? Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, that's just so scary. <laughs> and speed act on his off when he's feeling it. They're built up some CT money. I'd say this round was uh, not necessarily a must win, but a must find some damage, right, from the Apex boys. Still room to do so, as they'll get into bottom connector. They're looking to creep. They're looking to crawl. They're looking to try to get up catwalk. Speed act will hold. Akez just peeks right into the loving hands of Speedak. That's his third. Fox now going to push off Cat and off timing, oh, off kilter push. And it is just so left field. <laughs> Truth does not expect it. Ooh. Marcellus will try with his off. Nice little tag shot through the stairs. Surprised he was able to flick down like that. But uh, then he just tries to land on his head and that won't work. So 13 for Namiga. And let's just continue with the stats for fun. CT round percentage win after getting first kill. Is 72% even, while the T side, Roy, has it at 73.2%. So, Pretty similar. Uh, as as we all know, you get a first pick as a T and or trade, it typically favors you. That's pretty much standard for all maps. But yeah, I'm surprised to see it as CT sided as it is by 4%. So, interesting. Okay. I guess getting an early pick on CT side means that you lose the terrorists lose a lot of ground oh whoa and how, what how does the burn up there behind i have smoke? no i have no clue but now they're jumping through him he's coming through the smoke <laughs> these tech guys are in trouble at least mds gets put down in a respectable amount of time he only gets one but now they're kind of have a hard decision to make do they grab the gun back up do they commit here they go their smokes are still up lollipop gets dropped Speed Axe here, and it was such a stack for Namiga. They had literally everyone here. What a read and rotate for Namiga. That was really impressive. Uh, they just had everyone there, Roy. And now Apex can get a buy-in. The damage they were looking for was unable to come through. They only have AKs. No op for Marcellius. Namiga, not only our uh, cash cows. They've been on cash cab, a part of the Canadian reference. Uh, but they're also one round away from getting 15 on their map pick. And Pox is making slight work of this mid push right now. Yo's coming through the smoke. He shuts it down, Roy. Fox is in connector, continuing to look for fights. Marcellius is right below him. He'll look Jeez. down. He'll check his feet. Fox is an absolute monster. Clinical. It, they just dismantled four players in mid. They didn't take a point of damage. Not even via nades. Like, zero, literally zero damage has been sustained by Namiga, including on that last fight as well. Flawless. 15 to 7. Economy denied here. Bomb plan denied for Apex. They have nothing to work with here except light armor, AKs, li limited utility. Uh, actually, almost no utility at all. They have two flashes, a single smoke. That's it. Now, they, they just use one of the smokes either for window or for top mid. I think that's window. And they're going on mid again. They are not deterred from that mid control. They, I, I respect it. I respect it. Determination. Fox. <laughs> he yeah, tries to go trying. on mid, but he is so blind. <laughs> they're definitely trying. MDS is going to get boosted up, though. Can he find one? No. Dennis is railing and ready. They are going to be able to spray down Fox. So the aggression from Mimiga gets tossed back into their face, Roy. Although Apex are flashing each other. Lollipop, there's no way they expect Lollipop to come back into connector. They know some sort of push has to happen, but I don't know if they'll expect it. A peek from window and connector. They're going to peek together here. True. 
Gonna get me the window player. Lollipop is back for more, and Apex finally do win it, Roy. And I've lowered the gain by like half. Is my microphone better? Am I too quiet now? Yeah. I'm trying to. I, I'm you trying never to sound appeal. loud to me, Keith. Maybe I'm just used yeah. to you. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I am a loud soul, though. And I don't think, as long as I'm not peeking my mic and hurting anyone's ears, which should be impossible. It's okay. I think, I think you only hurt one Fortnite player's ears. You were fine. Not a loss. <laughs> not a loss. He will build a fort and get over it. By the way, 31 kills in regulation from, from Pox. He is just kind of dominating. 130 ADR, 24 effective flashes, a 2.38 KD, apparently 54% headshot ratio. I don't know how accurate the headshot percentage is in game. But yeah, I, I never know how to how to gauge those. I feel like sometimes like people are ending with 78% headshot. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, right now Cross has 90, so I'm not sure how that would work. Yeah, it's it's very strange, honestly. Come towards mid, the spam towards top middle again from Namiga. This time it'll bear fruit. Apples and oranges, ready and ripe for the picking. It leaves Akes and Truth alone. Bombs in a safe spot. They can at least grab it <laughs> uh, and pick a site, go together. They can't even afford to get traded. Like they just need a couple clean kills to make this one realistic. But plenty of two v fives have been done before. This one might be a hard sell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough sell. And just look how disciplined the Amiga is playing this, right? Like, they have the flank coming in. Slowly, Box is gaining ground, gaining space. There's Yo. He just spotted them towards ramp. He's got to find to Kez. And Lollipop just got you. And there it is. Yo. The one to punch. And Amiga, 16 to 8. Five of these rounds, Keith, were... Five of the eight rounds that Apex got were pistol, eco afterwards, and the three ecos that they got on the deagles and the mixed buys. That is not an inspiring confidence, Keith. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's a pretty hard sell. But the one thing that's keeping me in doubt, keeping me in check here, is the fact that this was Namiga's territory. And this was, at least statistically speaking, their best map. So I haven't yeah. totally lost hope. Now we're going into Dust 2, a map that's a little bit more brawly, still pretty well pronounced for Namiga, but I feel like if there is a map that Apex stands a pretty solid chance on, I think it's Dust 2. We've seen them play it before. Marcelli has popped off. Dennis popped off. I'm looking to see that here for the second map. That will be coming up here shortly between these two teams. For now, if you're in here right now and you've enjoyed the content, please do follow our socials, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We are everywhere for that original content daily weekly basis for now we are going to cut to a quick short break we'll be back in a few minutes on dust two between amiga and apex we'll see you then